whether it means about your professional life, whether it's about your financial. This is a time where you have to actually a, get in touch with understanding where you at in life and where do you want to be and what skills do you need to upgrade on and whether like you said get a coach get a mentor who has done it um, really well that you want it because you don't want to learn everything from scratch yeah. yes you want to get to know who you are but when it comes to all the other planning whether it be financial or professional and all those other things go and learn from people that are doing it really well and have done it really well because you're not here to reinvent the wheel and go through trial and error and all those other things. But when it comes to personal development, absolutely, because it could change the entire thing because you need to ask yourself, am I doing what I want to do because my parents and society and pressures have made me do it? And so I'm going to the through a force of like the least resistance by doing what everybody expects me to do. And I'm okay in life which is not super happy because that's where you're supposed to be you're here you're you know it, when you were a fetus in your mother's womb you had to put zero effort to be born like you had to like did the development over those nine months what effort did you actually have to put in there to like grow arms legs <laughs> a brain like to be fully functioning you had to put no effort and then when you were born like are, are you putting effort into breathing and, and blinking your eyes like you don't have to put effort like nature nature you have the four well in canada you have four seasons or do we have three seasons, four seasons. I, no i know but yeah. sometimes you don't even yeah. feel fall or spring anyways <laughs> but you know you have four seasons yeah. you have spring summer autumn and and winter and and through that like nature is doing its own thing the tree doesn't actually have to put any extra i mean i don't know i was in a tree but i it looks like they don't have to put any extra pressure to like go through like dropping the leaves and going through the renewal phase so in everything in nature and you're part of nature you know there's it's almost effortless so you're you already have all those things you already have freedom you already have perfection in what you are and what you, like you know there was it's funny because i was listening to a sermon and, um, I, and I forget like who was giving the sermon, like what religion it was, but it's, it, I think it applies to all. Uh, and he said, you know, the people who say, God, you know, please then pray for happiness, please make me happy. And then he, and then this, and the, and the priest, or I can't recall honestly, cause I listen to so many people right. um, and I just take what works and all that. And, and he said, well, you know, think about it. He goes, think about it. He goes, God then turns around and says, okay, wait a minute you're asking me to make you happy okay let's look at it i gave you life you have two legs you have two hands you can speak you can see you can hear things you can taste things you're fully enabled fully bodied you're living in this earth that makes like uh crops for you to eat from right fruits vegetables whatever like you have everything because your state of mind and how you choose to what, where you're focusing, where your energy is going, it's my fault. Like you literally have everything to be happy. You just choose not to be happy. Now, I'm not saying like that's what God's saying to you, but you have to think about like what you've been given. And, and like, you're right. If you don't have that appreciation and gratitude for it, like, what do you have? You're just going to focus on what? that just makes no sense that brings you down so really and that you won't even realize that unless you do some of that self-development work on yourself and one thing i want to ask what i want to say is you've always been saying what makes me happy what makes me happy and you were saying it last week that you know ask yourself what makes you happy and i think that's great because you got to do what makes you happy but if you haven't done any self-development and if your answer is what makes me happy is when I can control other people and I can get them to do what I want them to do, that's you. There's a level of maturity you haven't reached yet, and therefore that's not the best thing to do in terms of that's what makes you happy. So yes, I agree with you. Ask yourself what makes you happy. But if your answer is how to control other people, how to be better than other people, how to be more significant, like then you realize go back to center maybe you're a little more ego driven and you got to work on yourself because then you're going to choose things they think oh this makes me happy right and then that's what i'm going to do but then if you're making other people miserable because you <laughs> want to make yourself happy then that's not you know the best use of your life 